Hello everybody and welcome back. We're going to be doing a two-day vlog together and we're going to be redecorating this room. I'm so excited. It's something that I've been wanting to do for a really long time and really just kind of needed to think about what I wanted to do and find the right piece of furniture to kind of mold this whole room after. So I think I found the desk. We're going to go look. We're going to go take a look at it today and possibly pick it up. And if we do, fingers crossed, then this project will begin. If not, I'll come up with something else. But the goal is to redo this whole space up here. It's just clutter. It's a lot of makeup sitting out. I want to tuck it away a little bit better and just make it look really organized. The style I'm going for is very old school Marie Antoinette powder room. I I actually went on Pinterest and got a bunch of inspiration photos just to give me a little bit of direction on what I want. I want to take this black down because my pull downstairs is now black and I don't want every room in my house to be black and this was me living my I want my house to be black fantasy but I don't love it for up here. I feel like this is an opportunity for me to live the girly girl inside of me. I ordered wallpaper. It should be coming tomorrow. It's beautiful. It's like this rose pattern. I'm really having a thing with roses right now. <laughs> I mean, I always have. I have them. This isn't a rose. It's a lotus, but I have roses tattooed all over my body. I have roses all across my chest. It's probably my most favorite flower to have tattooed on me, and I can never have too many. I honestly could be one just walking rose garden, and I would be completely fine with that. I'm going to go pick up Jerome. He's coming with me. I'm going to be late. I better get going. Here's the outfit, very autumnal, honestly, but that's okay because we don't have to wear pastels only. You know what I mean? I can still wear brown and it's floral. So it's a good little, you know, transition outfit into spring. I'm feeling it. It's warm, it's cozy, but it's floral. It's the vibe. It's 47, it's not like freezing for us. I was talking to a girl in LA that's like a fashion blogger on Instagram and she was saying how, um, 65 is like winter weather for her in LA. <laughs> She's like, I've got my heater on. I'm just like, it was 61 degrees here and I busted out the gardening tools and I went and bought popsicles. I filled up the dog pool. Like, it's so funny how geographically wherever you're located makes a difference. Anyway, I'm on my way to pick up Jerome. I ordered us some gather goodies so I have a smoothie and he's uh, ordered like a carrot juice so I'm just gonna grab that and then grab him and then head out anything good how far is the Auburn habitat from here Ooh. like a 10 minute 15 minute you think it's probably on the freeway probably 10, 15. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's not that far. I'm looking for a specific thing and I know that they had it, so I just yeah, wanted to check here. Far. Yeah. Why is, th <laughs> Why is there a lion eating that person's nipple? <laughs> it's a little weird. Yeah? You like that colonial? Like that colonial revival? I do. You, oh my god. Yeah, I like stuff like that that look, because to me that could almost pass for a Victorian kind of old. That you, um, you had, you, you, you could, you do, you. See, this is, is this Marie Antoinette? Going for like hardcore yeah, powder room vibes. That could work, that could definitely. It's kind of cute, it's so yeah. grandma tacky, but I love it. No, it can be elevated. Yeah. I think it is like it. It's only grandma tacky when you start putting the porcelain dolls in the china cabinet next to it. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> But I'm going for roses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tea garden. Tea garden. You get it. Mm -hmm. Tea garden. That's how I should describe it. I'll tell that to these people. Who's the, pe the little people? Who's the, the little, little people? people inside this camera. <laughs> wow, china cabinets. I just can't. I think done. I agree. I can't. I don't think they're. I don't have that much stuff that could fill that. Well, like just the be obligation. Mine, be mine. Right. The amount of <laughs> things to put in there stresses me out. To make it not look cluttered. Right. You have to really have a collection. So then, you put, like, <laughs> so then you put nine plates in there? You put one plate set in your entire built-in cabinet? <laughs> I know, right? Okay, well, let's go to the Auburn one because I know they have a vanity there that hopefully is bigger than the picture shows. Is this on my back patio? Oh, that's a good chair. That's a good chair. I don't need another chair. All right, we don't need a chair. 
It's so cute though. This place is exciting me. This is when I get that like thrift. Yeah. That's like 2010 influencers with yes. like crystal chandeliers. That, that's like shiplap home. Okay, the vanity is somewhere. It's cute, but not, not the one. Here I am again with my old cottage furniture. Oh my God. You and this Dutch around. colonial. I'm telling you what happened. Gotta, I am. It's probably that is like, the bar cart though. That's like it. <laughs> yeah. So cute. I love the detail. Yeah. It's giving me Kat Von D's having a Thanksgiving party. Yes. Why is it sparkly? Microfiber. Wow. That's it looks sick. so glam. Oh God, it's recording. <laughs> Oh no! Hello! That's by potato! I don't know! That's a hot day! We need music or something. About 80s. Uh -huh. Who wants to listen to 80s? <laughs> <laughs> You guys are stupid. <laughs> this is gonna be a nightmare. to the next day. As you can see, I've already kind of gotten started with the wallpaper. I couldn't sleep last night. I was so excited about doing this project. I kept thinking what I was going to do and kind of planning it out a little bit where I was going to put everything. So I just didn't get any sleep at all. Yeah, I get really excited about projects. <laughs> just a little bit. Like once I have an idea that I'm going to film and like put on YouTube, I get so excited about it. I like the wallpaper. I feel like it is the sea foam kind of blue color that I'm going for mixed with pink. It's that Sofia Coppola version of Marie Antoinette movie is one of my top favorites. I love it so much. But I just wanted to show you the process and how stoked I am. The desk is so cute. I'm excited about it. <laughs> this is a really clean desk for as like beat up as the edges of it are. I'm impressed by how clean it is. I'm cleaning the inside of these drawers and there's literally barely any dirt, which even when we carried up the stairs and flipped it upside down, there was not a single cobweb underneath it. Jerome and I found a couple of matching knobs to put on the front of this one because it's missing knobs and you can't open it without sticking your hand underneath and doing this. <laughs> so. I'm gonna put those on. Uh, so yeah, got some little drawer knobs now. I think I, I can't tell if I wanna paint these or just go buy new knobs and just get all new gold knobs that are like pre-painted. I think I kinda wanna do that. I don't know, I really do like those handles though. But will they look as good as these if they were spray painted is the question. But those look great. That's great. I've been slowly setting things aside that I knew I wanted to use for this project and I needed a Lazy Susan. See how they match my brushes? This thing and all of my brushes look like this. they come from the same collection. Bye bye black! a little bit wasteful. Just a little bit. Okay, I ran out. I had this one panel left and I ran out. I really did think that I was gonna have enough to do both walls. I would be putting down a section and then I would lift up my finger and if a tiny little bit of it got stuck on my finger and I went like that, it would just shred it. <laughs> so I have patches 
all throughout here from when it just got stuck to my hands and ripped it. It was just, honestly, it is not the most quality paper. The wallpaper we have in our bedroom, the Gucci wallpaper, once you work with nice, good quality, thick, strong, sturdy wallpaper, and then you use peel and stick $30 a roll wallpaper, it really makes a difference. But like I said, I move this room around so much, it doesn't really matter. And also there's gonna be furniture and wall hangings. It's fine, I'm not too worried about it, but I think it looks good. When I'm looking at it now, the pattern, it really is just kind of like all over the place, isn't it? Like there's no rhyme or reason to where the roses are. And I would have had to really be, been able to line it up better. I thought I was, I'm just not very good at this. I was doing my best to make this kind of stuff line up that I didn't even look at where the placement of the roses was going to be. And now that I look at it, I'm like, oh, yeah, that's boots. I truly feel like this whole area up here is just in constant shuffling and moving around because it's so much. It's my storage area. It's my makeup area. It's my closet. It's where I work. This whole upstairs is like a mini apartment for all of my crap. And I love that about this house because I've always wanted my own space within my home with my partner. And so having a husband who just does not care that I have this space up here, he's like, dude, I don't want to go up there. It's the ceilings are too low and he hits his head. Sometimes he'll come up here and sit on the couch and hang out with me while I'm working. But for the most part, he doesn't really care about coming up here. Anyway, I'm going to go try to hunt down some small screws that could possibly go into this wall. Do I look like crap? No, I'm fine. Um, and hang up some stuff. I have so much crap. <laughs> it's because I tried to condense my entire store into places throughout my house. And it is time to let it go. It's been four months. Three months. I think it's time to let it all go. <laughs> extra furniture, extra shelves. I'm gonna have to sell it all. It's a loss, but it's okay. Hi. Okay, lunch is done and it's coming together. I've kind of figured out the furniture situation. As you can see, there's something else by the window. I'll show you that here in a second. But right now I'm gonna put everything that is in this thing into the vanity and kind of see how much makeup I can fit in this thing. I need to order another round of this, this the Vive skin nova the reason why i've kept this bottle if you guys want to know this is an empty um i've kept this because i didn't want to forget about it a lot of times out of sight out of mind for me if i kept this with all of my makeup do you know how many times i've grabbed for this and wished it was full it lasted forever too i feel like i had this for such a long time i think they made even like a bigger jumbo bottle i'm gonna actually order that right now of a serial killer about her communications with Dennis Rader, the BPD killer. New Just wanted to show you guys a couple of empties. This is the Pat McGrath uh, translucent powder. And as you can tell, <laughs> I really, really liked it. It's incredibly silky. I'm still considering if I should keep it just for this part, but I know that I'm not gonna grab for it. So it is time to throw my Pat McGrath translucent powder away, but it's just so good. This is the KKW nude lipstick. I've never gotten complimented on a lipstick more in my entire life. This is so gross now. I need to throw it away, but gosh, I love the color. It reminds me a little bit of, you know what? MAC definitely has a color similar to this. I can probably Google, this is the nude one. I can probably Google a dupe that's not as messy because that is the most messy packaging. Like, look at this. It's just always disgusting. Anyway, but it was a beautiful color. So these are all going in the trash. I just really like this ribbon, so I'm going to keep it. Maybe I'll tie it onto something because it's just so like bright and fun. Organization so far, I've decided to go with all of my palettes in the center. Then I have like tools and lash glues that I use for my lilac street lashes, hair clips and stuff organized in here with all the pencils that I'm going to need. And then in here is all my foundations, 
below is all of my face powders. You know, that would be a good spot to put concealers, just kind of like things for my base and touching up my face. And then the very lowest one you guys can't, yeah, you can see it, is my lashes, all of my Lilac Street lashes. I would love to have this full so that I just always have inventory. So I should put in an order for a bunch more just so I have them. Then over here, we have all of the color this so basically how i'm going to remember what's on what side is that color is on this side and then base is on the other so color is over here it's all my blushes and bronzers then all of the lip products which i have so much room in here i'm actually thinking i might put these in here and organize them that way and then for this lovely drawer that is so deep i can really fit some tall bottles in here i have a basket full of face mists and setting sprays and toners i mean everything and then these i love these face milks i usually prep my skin with a face milk before i put anything else on it this is what i do first it works as a toner and a moisturizer all in one so i love these anyway that's um everything packed in the desk for now <laughs> gonna close this video out I am all done for now I still have wallpaper coming so that will have to go in sometime this week when I have the free time to do it I thought I would dress in a little bit of a Marie Antoinette nod to uh, ring in <laughs> the decor with a little celebratory outfit and I also took some pictures of me dressed like this. I wanted to toss this up on the wall because I do want to still bring in some elements of black because I don't want it to look like a kid's room and I feel like what will add a little bit of edge to it is adding some elements of black and white. Drawing from this specific Pinterest photo, I feel like they did it really well. They were able to kind of teeter on the balance and then <laughs> This morning I was watching a couple of my favorite English YouTubers. I'm obsessed with English YouTubers. They're my favorite to watch. And they all went to Versailles and actually one of them was walking through Marie Antoinette's room. And I was like, there's like no pink in there. <laughs> like when I'm watching it, I'm like, that's not pinky girly. That's really regal and golds and blues. So a lot of these seafoam blues. So I was on the right track, you know. These are original test photos of Betty Page, like the actual real prints, it's not a copy. And I got this at an antique store and I have three of them. I really like the idea of putting this up so I'm going to stick that on the wall but I have to wait till the wallpaper goes up because it's going to go on the wall that still needs a little work. But I just wanted to show that to you guys because that's part of the finale, <laughs> I guess you could say. I'm going to stop babbling you guys. I have a big roast chicken dinner I'm making tonight so I need to go get it started and put in the oven. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you so much for being here and please give me a thumbs up if you like. It always helps. Makes me feel good. And subscribe if you're not. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye! <laughs>